What's up guys, it's Instinct here, and today I'll be showing you my second ever banner template. I'll show you how to edit it in Cinema 40 and Photoshop. Let me fuck you right so what you want to do is you want to click the link in the description, it'll bring you to the site. From here you can just download it, so just click download. Now I already have it, so I'm not going to download it. Now you should see this um, icon right here, you're going to double click on this. And if you don't see it, that's because you don't have WinRAR. You need WinRAR. If you don't have WinRAR, I will link a description below. So once you do that, you can just drag the instant banner template onto your desktop. Now I already have it onto my desktop, so I don't really need to do that. Alright, so once it's on your desktop here, you just want to double click it and you're going to need the font prime time. Now if you already have it, you can just skip this step. But if you don't have it, just double click on prime time and just double click on true type font file right here. And you want to click install. Now again, if anything pops up, then just, um, you know, sex it out. I already have it, so again, I'm not going to install it. So, once you have the font installed, you can move on to the Cinema 4D file. So, you just want to double click on Cinema 4D folder and double click on the file. So, once Cinema 4D is open, you are going to need two plugins. If you don't have them, I will leave a link in the description below on how to get them. You just need Nudge Blast and Reaper 2.0. I have tutorials on how to get them both. Alright, so from there, you are going to click on your text right here and you are going to change your um, name here to this template you're going to change it to your name so i'm just going to use your name for an example your name and that should be good actually i'm going to have it all lowercase just so it doesn't look weird like that perfect so pretty much with this font it just capital letters are bigger than lowercase letters so I just have them all lowercase just to even it out. But anyways, um, you want to do that for, uh, you want to click this plus button on add array and you want to do the same thing to this other layer. So just change it to your name or whatever your name is. Alright, so once you have done that, you should um, have something that looks like this. So from here, you can really just, um, uh, pretty much what you're going to do now is we're just going to add the cracking effect, which is Nitro Blast. Which is this background here, but we're just going to add it onto the text as well. Alright, so pretty much all you want to do is you want to click on your text layer, this top one here. And you want to go to plugins, and you want to go to Nitro Blast, and you want to click Nitro Blast Main. From there, you can just change the pieces to 50. I recommend 50, um, that's what works uh, well, so just do 50. Alright, now the quality is depending on your computer. If you have a really nice computer, go with extreme. If you have a pretty good computer, go to high, etc. Until you get to low. But for this tutorial, I'm just going to go with medium. Okay, so once it's done, you should have something that looks like this. You can just close this out. You don't really need that anymore. Alright, from here, you're, you're going to notice that, um, first of all, the uh, your text has changed colors. And you're going to have these here. So these are your materials. Um, now this is going to be the front material, and this is going to be the back material here. So if you want it to look like how it is on the thumbnail and in, in the beginning of the video, you just want to drag uh, this grunge um, material here, and you want to drag on all the blue ones. So in the front layer here, and you're going to do that for all of them. So I might speed it up. Okay, so once that's done, you're also going to drag this. Okay, so I accidentally messed up and dragged the wrong material on. So instead of dragging this um, volcano one on, you just want to drag the one next to it. So this uh, red and white one, glowing one, onto it. Instead of where I drag the uh, lava one, you just want to drag this one here, the red and white one on there. Um, continue with the video material, which is like the lava effect here. This little lava stone material here. Um, on the yellow ones, so I'll speed that up as well. 
Okay, so once you do that, you want to just minimize this and you want to click on your text layer. And now you're going to go to MoGraph and you're going to go to Fracture. So once you're in Fracture here, you just pretty much want to drag everything in a Fracture. And to do this, you're going to have to go to um, your little MoGraph or Mo text here. And you want to go to each letter, click this add button, click it again, click it again to receive all the pieces. So you just want to click it, click main pieces, and then click dynamic, and then all your pieces should be there. Now for me, you just want to click the top one, and you want to go all the way down, hold shift, and click the bottom one. Now this will select all from the first one to the bottom one, or to the last one. Now from here, you just want to drag all of these pieces in a fracture. And now you want to minimize this and minimize that letter. And now this letter is done. Now you just move on to the next letter and do it again. I'm going to speed it up because it's going to take a while. Okay, so once you're done, you can just uh, minimize this. Now you're not going to need this layer anymore, so you can just delete this layer. Alright, so from here, um, you have your fractured layer, and you have all your pieces in here. So, from here, you can just go to MoGraph, and go to the Effector, and go to Random. Now, this is going to happen. Now, don't freak out, just because it looks broken, I guess. It's supposed to look like that. Uh, now make sure you're on your random layer here, and you just want to move the strength down to about anywhere from like 8 to 12 percent. Now you can see if you put it on to zero, it's like nothing happened before. Now if you drag the effect oops, up more, you can see how it starts to crack more. Depending on how much you want it to crack is how far you should drag it up. So I believe I set mine to 10. So it should look something like this. Now, if you're not happy with this, I mean, you can always drag it a little bit further up and a little bit lower, but just find what works for you. And in this case, I'm going to use 10%. All right, so from here, you are pretty much done. Just make sure you set this to one frame and then you're going to save it. So also, you're going to go to your settings here and you want to make sure you click save and you want to save it. Make sure um, it is named whatever you want. For this case, I'm just going to name it template2. And you want to click this little button here. And save it to your pictures as a PNG. Or as all formats, I guess. And then make sure this is chucked as PNG. Now, mine was already saving to where it needs to go. But if yours wasn't there, then just do that. And you can click output and make sure this is 1920. Make sure this is 1080. And you just leave the resolution at 72. I wouldn't mess with it and just leave everything else the same. From there, you are set to go. Now you can just click render, this render button here, and render it out, and I will see you guys in Photoshop. So once you're done with your Cinema 4D file and it has rendered into a PNG image, you just wanna click file and you wanna click open. So once you're here, you can just go to your desktop here, and from here, you can just open the folder that was on your desktop. So it's Instincts Granted Template 2. Just scroll down to see it, it's right here, just double click on this, and double click on Photoshop to open the Photoshop folder. So once you have opened the Photoshop folder, you want to click this uh, PSD file, Photoshop document file, and open it. Once it is opened, pretty much you just want to do a few things here, and then you can start um, changing it to your likings. So first of all, either hide this layer or delete it, so I'm just going to delete this layer. Alright, this layer, just don't do anything with this layer. Um, these layers I will go over later, but for now, you want to replace your, the text. So this is the text layer um, here. So this is what it looks like without the text. And this is with the text. So pretty much you're just going to replace your text with this layer here. So to do that, you just want to open your PNG image of your text here. So from Cinema 4D. So just go to File, Open, and go to your pictures, or wherever you saved it, which is pictures for me. Um, and then scroll down to find it, so it's right here. You just want to double click on that to open it. So once it is open, you can just drag this layer here, this entire thing, into your into this template. So it is in here. And what you want to do now is you want to center it. 
So what I recommend doing is just kind of like base it off of the template that's already there. So just kind of line it up in the center. I think that's about good. Also, you can use your arrow keys to do this, which is what I'm doing. So I think that looks about good. Now, to make things less confusing, you can just double click on this layer and change it to text layer. And that will be good. And make sure it's under lightning and above or below it doesn't really matter of this layer because you're just going to delete this layer so when you're done it should be below lightning and above particles too and there you go all right so i'm actually going to reposition it now because the particles are like off the screen a little bit so i think that is good about there all right so this is looking good here now from here if you like it like this you are pretty much done you can just save but if you want to change the color or change the lighting or something um you can just follow these steps so again leave that layer just don't touch that layer go to the cc and you can turn this off if you want or you could just hit this uh arrow right here and mess around with these um i just like it like this um this is how i'm gonna leave it just like this all right, so onto the red CC. Now this gives it the red effect, the red theme here. Now if you want to change like the color to a different theme, you can uh, hit Control U, and then change the color. So I think like if you wanted to make it blue, I think that looks pretty good. So what you want to do is it's at negative 98 as a hue. So you can hit Control C to copy this number here. And then click OK, and then you can go to your other layers, and then change it to that. But without this layer on here, it looks like this. So I mean, if you want to turn it off, you can. I wouldn't recommend it. Moving on to the white CC layer, I wouldn't change this layer color just because this layer is specifically to lighten the entire thing up. But yeah, I just wouldn't change that. Um, because it doesn't really apply to this because this is just the lighting layer. Moving on to the red CC layer, you can do the same thing as the other one. Just hit control, click U, drag, or don't drag this, just copy and paste it since I already have it copied. So just click on this, backspace zero out, and hit control and hit V, and it should copy the um, other hue, and then just click OK. And then you can pretty much just do this for all the layers. Again, without this layer, it looks like this. Not that much of a difference, but it looks better in my opinion. All right, moving on to the lightning layer. Um, this is the little lightning here. It's kind of hard to see, but if I turn it off, you can kind of see it there. Um, again, if you want to um, change that color to the uh, theme here. Also, you don't really have to change it all to one color. Like you could have this like that or something. But I just don't think it would look that good with everything just mixed up. Anyways, you can just hit um, backspace the number out and hit control V. Or if you really want to, I mean, you could just drag it to like negative 98 every time. But I just find it easier to copy and paste the number. Just click OK. Now the lightning has changed with the rest of it. And then for your text layer, I wouldn't really mess anything with your, do anything with your text layer. But you can if you want. Um, change the color again like that but I don't really like that at all click cancel here moving on to particles too so this is your particles here it's kind of hard to see but it's this little um thing right here at least I think it is um yeah it's this little these little things electric shock things I guess you could call them here if you want to change the color to that, you can again hit Control U and then backspace the number out and hit Control V and click OK. So yeah, and then do uh, again for the other particles, which is these little like bubble things, these little things right here. Hit Control, click U, um, backspace this out and hit Control V to make it 98, and yeah. And then once you have changed everything, you're pretty much done. Um, a few things you could do is one, you could go to your text layer, hit Control C and hit Control V to duplicate the layer. Or I guess since that didn't work for some reason, you could Control J, that will duplicate it. So I guess do that if it doesn't work. 
All right, anyways, you, what you want to do is you want to make sure you're selected on the top layer here of your text layer. So you should have two of them now because you duplicated. Just make sure you're on your top one. Go to filter and filter gallery. From here, um, you just want to make sure you're on stylized and glowing edges. I just stick with the default here, so just click OK. Now everything should start glowing, which should look like this. Now, I don't think you'd like it like this, but if you do, I guess just go to file and save. But if not, you can just mess with the opacity here and lower it down to like something like that to make this little outline little right here just pop or to give it a glowing look I guess now if you're trying to f uh, if you're having oops that's the wrong way if you're like having trouble finding like a good opacity uh, you could um, do like a mixture of opacity and the blending mode here so like overlay or screen uh, go back to overlay and just lower it like that um, that's just something you could do um, so without it it looks like that so I guess it just makes it a little bit darker and the colors pop a little bit more um, I guess I'll stick with that so yeah so once you're done here you just want to click file and you are going to click save as and from here you can just uh, save it uh, click this little arrow right here go to pictures save it to pictures make sure this is on PNG and just change it to whatever you want so change the name to whatever you want so I'm just gonna write um, your name I think it's spelled I I don't know anyways just click save and to let it save. Um, now you're gonna give it an option here for PNG options. I just always go with the default. And let it save. And that is pretty much it. Thanks for watching guys. Leave a comment, like, subscribe. Tell me, please tell me what you guys wanna see cause I don't really know what to make. But yeah, peace. I have been for my love.